Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-73 from RC Repeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, two electrically charged pit balls, each having a mass of 0.15 grams, are suspended from light threads of equal length. Determine the magnitude of the horizontal repulsive force F acting on each ball if the Measured distance between them is r equal to 200 millimeters. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to consider only half of the diagram because other half is symmetrical. If I consider the right hand side of this diagram, then I have weight of the pit ball acting downwards. This is the weight and I have tension in the string in this direction. So now this, let's call this T, this tension force is at an angle of some degrees with the vertical. So if I draw a vertical line here. Then we have to find this angle. Let's call this theta. For that I have to consider a triangle. If I draw a triangle right here. Let's call this A, C and this is B. So if I consider the triangle ABC. Then for the length BC, we have 200 minus this 50 divided by 2, which is equal to 75 millimeters. So now, to find this angle theta, if I apply the ratio of sine, so sine theta is equal to 75 upon the hypotenuse which is 150 so theta is equal to 30 degrees so now theta is equal to 30 degrees I can resolve this tension force into two components now if I reduce the length of this tension force to draw its components and I have one vertical component and one horizontal component. This is the tension force T. Now this angle is also theta because it is alternate to this angle right here. This is T cos theta and this one is T sine theta. So if I apply the equations of the equilibrium, then I have sum of the forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So I have T cos theta, which is 30 degrees minus W equals to zero. So T is equals to W, which is mass into acceleration due to gravity so mass is 0.15 grams which means 0 0.15 exponent negative 3 into 9.81 divided by cos 30 degrees so from here p is equals to 1.7 exponent negative 3 newtons but we have to find the horizontal force f so if i apply some of the forces in x direction equals to 0 i am considering right hand side as positive so we have f minus t sine 30 degrees equals to 0 so f is equals to t sine 30 which means 1.7 into 
negative 3 into sine 30 degrees. So from here f is equals to 8.5 exponent negative 4 newtons. So this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you. And I already have uploaded some solutions of chapter 3 from the same book, so you can also check them out. The link of this playlist is in the description. Thank you.